Hey everybody, something completely different today, but I reckon some of you might be interested in this one. You know these metal ice cubes that you see? Uh, they're, they're completely made of metal, they're filled with liquid. Uh, there's also lots of these going around that you have seen that looks a bit like a bullet. Uh, the reason these are being sold a lot is because the holder that they come in that looks like the cylinder from a revolver can be personalised with the company name, and then people are selling them with these generic ones in it. Um, and my question was simply, are they any good? There is definitely a benefit to these if you're, I don't know, a whiskey or a scotch drinker or something like that, is that they don't add water to the drink, they just cool it down. Um, but as a general ice cube, are they any good? I want to know, so I'm going back to school, an old school type of test, where I'm going to find out whether these are more effective than normal ice cubes or not. So the way I'm going to test this is I'm going to have a control of normal water, the bullet cube, the cube cube is in the metal one, an ice cube, and ice cubes that equal the mass of one of the, the metal cubes, because I don't know whether an individual or the mass is, it's, mass is probably more important in holding on to cold, holding on to energy, you know what I mean. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'd do that, and I'm gonna get the baseline temperatures, I'm then gonna test the temperature every five minutes up to an hour, and that'll tell us what the deal is, hopefully. So the first thing I need to do is fill these all up to the same point. I'm just going to get a base temperature, but what I'm going to do for each one is I'm going to put the probe to the bottom on the opposite sides wherever the cube is. And hopefully I'll get a better temperature. Obviously if I touch it on the cube I'm going to get lower temperatures. Okay, so I've got the baseline temperatures now, um, ranging from 21.3 to 21.4. They're all like up and down 0.1 of a degree. That may be a variance of the thermometer itself because it's not the best thing in the world, but I'm not doing this as some super serious scientific test. This is just general interest, but with a... You know, it should be a reasonable answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all the different cubes to the waters and then I'm going to measure the temperature after one minute to give us an idea of how quickly it chills the water and then I'm going to do one at 5, 10, 15, 20, all up to, you know, an hour and we'll just see where we're at. Uh, I think this will be quite interesting. So let me go and get the required. So what I did was I put this pot and this square ice cube on the scale, zeroed it out, and as it turns out, to the gram, three ice cubes is the equivalent of one of these, uh, and I've got one on its own, so what I need to do now is remember the order we're doing this, right, so the bullet one goes in there, the metal cube one goes in there, I'm going to push them off to the top, so they're kind of in the same place, uh, we then want one cube over here, and this one wants the mass of the metal ice cube, but in water ice. Start. If you enjoy this video, please do hit that like button. I know it's completely different to the stuff that I normally do, um, but with the winter coming up and stuff, I kind of feel like some of these sorts of things would be really interesting. And this, this really sparks parts of my mind that I just enjoy. And I hope you do as well. So if you do, I say hit the like button. Okay, we are up to one minute. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. So the water is 21.4. The bullet, opposite side to the bottom. 20.2, 20.1, 20.0. Yeah, so it's going down. So we're going to go 1, 9, 9. Because what it does, it kind of stops and then it keeps dropping. So there we go, it just stopped at 18.9. Whoa, that's dropping way quicker. 16.9, 16.8, so that's now going at a steady drop, so we call that 16.9. The three ice cubes in that theory should be, whoa! We are way down there already with this one. Okay, settling around 11, and now dropping at a steady sort of point one every now and then, so 11. Okay, so when we get to five minutes, we'll have to do the same thing. What I'm going to do between each test is turn the camera and the light off, so I don't obviously film an entire hour for no reason, but also I don't constantly bake it with a light. Although it's LED and I can't feel any heat from it, I'd still think that it's good to turn it off in between. But they're all gonna get the same experience of light and everything in this environment. I've just uh, gone back over the pencil things with pen because it's easier to see for you. And we are at five minutes. Well, let's go. 21.5 steady. I guess there's a point it kind of meets equilibrium, where it will hover for a while before it goes the other way. 17.3, 17.2, 17 17.1, steady. The one ice cube is completely gone. And 
and it's at 15 degrees steady. And the three ice cubes, there's three little bits left over there. I'm going to leave them over there and out the way. 10, still dropping, 10.2, 10 10.9, 9.8 is still slowly going, so we're going to say 9.8. And we have to go again at 10 minutes. What can we see to start with? Well, the water temperature is slowly warming up. The bullet had a smaller impact to start with. The one ice cube, yeah, the ice cubes are so ahead in the first minute by how much it's turned out. We'll, we'll, we'll go over this at the end. I know you can't see it from here. The interesting thing to know, though, is that obviously the water ice has cooled the water far quicker. But of course, it's added to the mass and it's, you know, it's melted in there. Um, will, because now the cubes are gone, they've given all their, their you know, their cold energy, as it were, or they've taken the energy away for that long, they can't do any more now. These are still acting, so maybe these don't get drinks as cold as ice or as fast, but they do hold them colder for longer. I think that might prove to be true. I don't know. We're only going to find out over the course of this video. We're only uh, into 11 minutes and 33 seconds. We've got lots more tests to go, and I get a feeling things are going to come to an equilibrium pretty quickly. Much quicker than I thought. Next test is at 20 minutes. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, and it's not really that important, but the mass of that cube is 30 grams. The three ice cubes was equal to that, which was 30 grams. A single cube weighed about 11 grams. And the AK bullets weigh 22 grams, which is exactly double the single ice cube. 21.9. Oh, that's done a little bit of a jump there. 21.9. Broken its trend and it's heating faster. This is really interesting. I am seeing definite results here. I can definitely say things about the difference between ice and these metal ice cubes. Uh, I think I'll probably have to get these in a graph form for them to be easier to be seen, but I can see it with my eyes what's going on. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm? Here we are coming up to our 25 minute test. I realise we probably don't need to go this far because most people would have drunk their drink by now. <laughs> but, you know, if you if you saw any sips on whiskey or something. Final test at one hour. Also going to need to get all these onto a graph for it to really show in an easy way. 22.6. So now I need to get all this into a graph so it makes sense. Okay, so I took my numbers, I assigned each one of them a colour, and then I went old school, and I made an old school graph. I know I could do this on a computer, but you don't need one to do this. So what we've got is the temperature up the side here, I've only marked the downward bit rather than the upward bit, but just know that that's a degree for every mark. So that's why it's, you know, and then for every 0.1 of a millimeter, basically, it's 0.1 of, of a degree Celsius. Of course, I'm doing this in Celsius. I probably should have mentioned that, but I think you would have guessed that looking at these numbers if you thought that was Fahrenheit. Wow, we've got some decent ice. And then we've got time across here. Now, the first mark is the one minute mark. OK, so this doesn't fully correspond. It's do we can see the initial drop at the one minute mark. And then from the five minute mark is where we see our trends with every five minutes. OK, so for reference, yellow is the control, green is the bullet, the metal cube is blue, the orange is the single ice cube at about 11 grams, and the red is the three ice cubes at 30 grams, which means it's the same weight uh, as the metal ice cube. What we can learn from this is quite interesting. Obviously, the water was just below room temperature because it did gain in the control. Uh, the metal bullet did give us a drop, but it's not a very big drop, uh, and it keeps us below the line for a short while. The cube is far more effective in getting this instant drop. Uh, keep in mind, this one here is the, the first drop, initial drop is at one minute, and then it's five minutes, 10 minutes, and so on. Um, so water ice is, in both instances, far more effective in lowering the temperature of the drink quickly than the metal options, but they're obviously gonna water it down. The cubes are way better than the bullets in both regard in the sense that they get down to a lower temperature sooner and sustain that lower temperature for longer. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, even the, the single ice cube is still below what we started at after an hour, but the single bullet has actually gone beyond and it looks like it's going to meet up with the room temperature. So the bullets are kind of rubbish. One ice cube is actually far more effective, and I don't think it'll water things down too much. But if you do not want to water it down, go with the cubes, not the bullets. So my conclusion on this is this. If you want to cool a drink down and you don't care about diluting it a bit, go with ice every time. 
even if you don't mind downloading a little bit, go with the single ice cube. It's going to have a far bigger effect than one of the metal options. If you are going to go for one of the metal options, go with something with a bit more mass, like the cube, rather than the bullet, because as you can see, after an hour, that's still below our starting temperature. But as you can see, they're all getting around the starting point by the end of the hour. The ice is still way down there in comparison. That is probably completely useless information to everyone, but I think it's interesting, and now I know the answer. I wanted to know the answer to a question, and the way you can find your answers is just do a simple test, a bit of critical thinking, a little bit of scientific method, try and even out the variables, and have a bit of fun with it, and you can actually get reasonable answers in a couple of hours that no one needed to know. But if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here. And if there's anything else like this you'd like me to do, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll have a look at it. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.